Hey everybody, welcome back. Rachel Varga here, Advanced Aesthetic Nurse since 2011. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time is, how do I get glassy skin? So if you've ever wondered about the top ways to get glassy skin, stay tuned because I'm going to spill my secrets. Beauty is a feeling and a quiet confidence that comes from really looking after yourself. And I love sharing with you science-backed products and procedures that are backed by research and that work, right? And we don't want to be wasting our time and money on things that don't work. I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that. I'm going to share with you what really works to help you get glassy skin pretty quickly. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions pertaining to aging well or different products and procedures you've tried or are thinking about trying. I'm here to help you. The skin will look glassy when it's healthy. First of all, let's help you figure out your skin type. Are you dry? Are you oily? Are you combination? Are you acne prone? Are you 40, 50, 60 plus and you have large pore size? We're gonna get into all of it. All of these can result in little irregularities on the skin and when you have more irregularities, it makes your skin look less healthy and more bumpy and just kind of older. In this picture of Katy Perry, if you look closely, you'll see that she has lots of little bumps in this area. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a scar or a piercing she had. A couple of fine lines, things like that. A little bump here, here, but lots of these uh, little bumps on the skin. And she has tons of money. She's loaded. She's famous. She can go to the best of the best. Uh, but really what it requires is actually going and getting proper procedures done and I really feel for some celebrities because they probably want to take better care of their skin but when they're doing photo shoots and video shoots and interviews and appearances you know they're probably wearing a lot of really heavy stage makeup that's clogging the skin i'm wearing a lot of makeup right now when i film way more than i typically do uh, so i use glow skin beauty makeup it performs really well on camera but then you can just wear a little bit less of it and it's awesome during the daytime too and it's non-comedogenic it doesn't have things like the parabens mineral oils talcs fragrances things like that Getting back to Katy Perry, I do see a lot of these milia bumps forming when people are using inadequate skincare and makeup and they're getting what's called milia on the skin. It's basically little cysts that can develop that, you know, they're not zits. You can squeeze all you want, but they're not going to come out. You have to give those little cysts a bit of an exit strategy for the contents inside. It's kind of cool. These bumps can't be squeezed because they're not zits. But in fact, it's a little bit of a buildup of cells underneath the skin that gets trapped and then it forms a cyst. The best treatment, in my opinion, for these types of milia irregularities are things like the hydrofacial. The hydrofacial can be modified to include lancing of cysts, which is really what gets rid of the milia. In my opinion, for milia and irregularities like what Katy Perry has, Hydrofacial is the bomb and it's going to outperform the old school microdermabrasions, soap peels, salt facials, things like that. If you're wondering what hydrofacial is, I have a great video on the hydrofacial, what you need to do before and after, and also showing a treatment. So be sure you check that video out. The hydrofacial is something that everybody can have at every change of season and really just kind of gives you a nice refresher of the skin with simultaneous exfoliation and hydration. And then of course, when you have a great provider, they can do those milli extractions too. Next, we're going to talk about bumps from breakouts, like in this picture of Cameron Diaz here. If we take a closer look, she actually has a lot of redness to her skin. And then if you look at the other picture, she's all, you know, bright and smooth and lots of nice makeup but what she has going on underneath is a lot of redness um, active breakouts scarring resulting in bumps and also some of those kind of like ice pick or rolling acne scars and she's a great candidate for a couple of treatments let's get into what some of those treatments might be for someone like her with bumps but also redness too but I just wanted to highlight that there are different types of irregularities that we can develop on the skin, whether it's from acne or buildup or pigmentation, things like that. 
basically you just want to get the skin looking nice and clear and healthy looking and glassy with that smoothness. All right, the number one way, well, the first way anyways, to get glassy skin is, you've heard me say this before, but really good medical grade skincare. Check out my playlist on everything with cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, eye cream, serums, everything you need to know, binge watch that playlist because it's pretty in depth. And why really good skincare is important is to prevent accelerated breakdown of elastin and collagen, which happens from UV damage, pollution, and oxidative stress. So products with active ingredients are going to help combat that. And of course, really good medical grade mineral based sunscreen. For really deep acne scarring, like what I showed with Cameron Diaz, she will want to get some more laser treatments to impact that. So if you're curious about how to really get rid of acne scars, you can check out my other video where I focus on the three best ways to get rid of acne scarring. This video is a must watch before investing a penny into acne related products and procedures. You've heard me say this before, I'm really passionate about you saving time and money so that you don't end up purchasing products or procedures that are gonna waste your money. Because trust me, there's a lot of it out there. It drives me mental. This is why I'm so passionate about sharing all this stuff online. Laser treatments and chemical peels are the bomb diggity for getting a smoother, glassy skin. It's really important and you really wanna focus on getting laser treatments a couple of times a year just to keep the skin in good shape. Laser treatments and chemical peels are really awesome for reducing things like pore size and also little bumps that you can get. They're kind of like zits, but you know, they you, you go and squeeze them but nothing comes out. Those are probably called sebaceous hyperplasia or even moles or little lumps and bumps on the skin. It's really good at kind of shaving that off. But if you have anything on the skin that, you know, has dramatically popped up or is larger than the end of a, a pencil eraser or the color is irregular or the edges are irregular, always get checked out by your physician to rule out any skin cancers. Very important. 10% of all skin cancers occur in the eye area. My skin type in particular is the highest prone to develop skin cancer. So if you're a similar skin type to me, get checked out often and use your sunscreen every day. In regards to laser treatments, IPL is awesome at even killing P acne, which is what's involved in some active breakouts, and getting rid of that diffuse redness that we saw with Cameron Diaz to give her more of an airbrush look, and also helps to get rid of uh, brown spots and melasma. They also stimulate collagen, and when you have tons of collagen in your skin, like if you look at mine, I'm 33 this year, and my skin is actually better than it was when I started all of this when I was about 25 because I have a ton of collagen on my skin, really good skincare and the odd treatments. IPL is considered a no downtime procedure and if you don't know much about the IPL, stay tuned for my next video that's coming out on IPL laser where I actually show a treatment. It's really important to understand what they are before investing any time and money into it. For pore size, scarring, and overall skin improvement and stimulating collagen, lasers are awesome, but not all lasers are created equally. At this point in time, based on the technology that's available, I'm a huge fan of Photona technology for in-office laser needling with micro laser peel. I love the micro laser peel aspect with an erbium laser for basically melting away the pores. It's unreal. It gives you really glassy skin. But again, you wanna find an experienced provider with this type of technology because everything is technician dependent. For skin tone texture improvement, I am going to recommend laser needling over micro needling, hands down, any day of the week. At home dermal rolling is great, but you've heard me say this before, 99.999% of people are doing it wrong. And if you're using a roller from China, check if you're using a roller from China because you should definitely not be exposing yourself to those kind of rollers that probably have higher levels of uh, toxic metals and heavy metals and they're probably not even needles, they're probably blades. Not good. So resist the urge to buy that microneedling package with PRP. I mean, it's gonna be pretty minimal, the improvement. It's going to stimulate collagen to some degree, but I much rather recommend people invest in laser treatments and chemical peels for getting glassier skin. 
Another thing I find very often with laser technologies is that some lasers will claim to get rid of pigmentation and texture kind of all in one. But in my experience, I spent about two years getting my hands on some of the best laser technologies out there. And lasers that kind of claim to do everything, I find don't really do anything very well. So if you have redness or brown spots, then go for the IPL. And if you have pore size or kind of thin crepey skin, really kind of thin skin that's lost its collagen, then getting like a cool laser or, um, you know, an in-office laser peel or fractionated laser is really the way to go. Don't go for some of these wimpier lasers that feel like a bit of a hot stone massage and don't carry a ton of downtime because what I find is that these lasers just often don't punch enough energy into the skin to really create the change that people really want. One more thing to add in the realm of laser or skin treatments are chemical peels. So to reduce the milia, I already talked about that, getting regular hydrofacials and chemical peels are really helpful. So in between your laser treatments and in and amongst your really good skincare, you could go ahead and get these types of hydrofacials or chemical peels every couple of months, change of season, before a special event, they're really great. They're really nice for giving you some gentle resurfacing. You're not gonna get as much resurfacing as with laser treatments, but it's great because it's easy to fit into the busy work life style, all that because you don't have any downtime with it. You just look a little bit, you know, shiny and glassy afterwards because your skin's super smooth and hydrated. But you really can just do whatever you need to do after these types of treatments. All right, as always, I have a bonus tip for you for getting glassy skin. This, I have to say, is my holy grail for giving people smoother skin, and myself included, and that's to use injectables. Skin and laser treatments will only do so much for kind of thickening and tightening the skin, but then you really have to look at what's causing the volume loss, fine lines and wrinkles, and more often than not, when I combine injectables with someone's uh, skin rejuvenation treatment plan, that's really kind of the icing on the cake, especially for smoothing the skin here, smoothing the skin here and here. Uh, I find that these neuromodulators like Botoxiumin and Dysport can really give a beautiful glassy look to the skin. And I even find that it helps people that regularly get breakouts to have them have less breakouts. I personally had my latest Zeoman treatment about a week ago, and I was getting you know quite a bit more breakouts than I typically had been over the last couple of months uh, because my previous treatments kind of worn off because I did my last neuromodulator maybe about four months ago before a awesome photo shoot in Belize. That was a really fun photo shoot. It was a week-long shoot on Private Island. So I have to keep my skin looking awesome because I have gigs like this come up and I love it. I love just taking care of myself. So I practice what I preach when it comes to this stuff. And with everything, all of these treatments, injectables, it's all half art, half science. So you want to find a provider that is going to give you a natural look and really kind of hold your hand along this journey because it is a journey. It's not just, you know, a one-stop shop. You're not just getting one laser treatment, one and done, and that's it. It's a couple of times a year for all of the different things that I mentioned. Don't be too hard on your skin. I personally have access to all of these awesome products and procedures because I'm in the industry. A lot of celebrities do as well. But my skin is by no means perfect and we all have different things that our skin struggles with, right? Like for me it's acne prone that once a month I tend to break out a little bit and get that little bit of redness afterwards. It does require a lot of time and energy to look after your skin, but stick with me. You won't waste time and money on products and procedures that aren't gonna give you results. I'm here to help you figure out, navigate the whole realm of rejuvenation and aging impossibly well. You've heard me say this before, but I can't stress this enough, that beauty is a feeling and a quiet confidence that comes from being perfectly aligned, body, mind, and spirit. I absolutely notice in my client base that those clients that take care of themselves on the inside are the most beautiful and vibrant clients that I have on the outside as well. That inner beauty 110% translates to the outside. 
be kind to yourself, clean up your skincare routine, your lifestyle, your skin is a reflection of how healthy you are. And you could have really bad acne and actually be really healthy on the inside. That's definitely a possibility too. Don't beat yourself up if you don't have the skin you want now. Keep at it. It does take time for collagen to be stimulated in the skin and your skin to respond to a new skincare routine. This is honestly what it takes to get great skin. It's not a one and done magical laser, magical beauty cream. It's looking after yourself day in, day out, every year, decade, all of that to really help yourself age awesomely well. That's not a word, awesomely well. But you know what I mean, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> there you have it, it's not a quick fix. Sorry, right. it's a multifaceted and multidisciplinary approach to get great skin. Let me know if you've ever had a rejuvenation treatment or what's worked and what hasn't worked in the comment section down below. Also subscribe and share this video with a friend that you think might benefit from it. If you wanna learn more about how to improve your skin and learn what's maybe best for your specific case, then go ahead and check out rachelvarga.ca. I have tons of resources on there. If you wanna reach out, you can do so. I'm happy to help. I really look forward to sharing more information on ways to bring forth better skin and health and wellness out there. And let me know uh, if you have a video request. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.